How to build a smart self-ordering plant pot. In this video, I will give you a detailed introduction to Flora, my do-it-yourself open source project. Let's go! Hello everyone and welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. My name is Martin, I'm an engineer and I love to come up with cool stuff. What I don't like is constantly having to water my plants. I engineer and I don't water stuff. Unfortunately, I always forget about watering them or I'm not at home at all. This has led to a lot of dried out plants over the years. I just could not find a satisfying solution to keep me from having to buy new plants on a weekly basis. So I decided to build a proper solution myself. During this process, I learned so many new things about 3D printing, electronics and coding, and it was a whole lot of fun. So much fun indeed that I wanted to share this experience with others who also like to tinker and build their own gadgets. And that's why I decided to start this YouTube channel. The video you're watching right now will be the start of a series of beginner-friendly step-by-step tutorials how to build your own flora. If you like this idea, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. That will also motivate me to hurry up with the next videos. Also, consider subscribing to not miss out. In today's introductory video, I will start by answering a few important questions. 1. Isn't Flora kind of over-engineered? 2. What are the features? And 3. What are my future plans for Flora? Is Flora over-engineered? Yes, kind of. Of course, there are other, less complex solutions for the problem. And I tried many of them every single one had downsides I didn't like. For example, I don't want to have a perforated water container sticking in the soil. I also don't want to constantly check these containers or any kind of water level to make sure they are still filled. I also don't want sensors that simply beep while the soil is too dry, but still require me to water manually. I'll water you later. I said, I'll water you later. In a nutshell, yes, there are many other solutions out there. But if you ask me, Flora combines all of their strengths with none of the drawbacks. Why, you may ask? Well, here are the features. Flora has a 3D printed housing, printable with any material in any color. The size can be scaled to fit larger plans and even the whole design itself is customizable by anyone. Integrated into this housing is a tank that holds up to 0.7 liters of water. That will last for about 3 months on average, depending on the plant and the ambient temperature of course. Located inside of the water tank is a sensor tracking the current water level. And in the middle of the plant pot is a capacitive soil moisture sensor. These are much better than resistive ones because they don't oxidize and break after only a few weeks. If you cut a small rectangular hole into the bottom of your planter, the sensor can be easily placed inside the soil. If the soil moisture drops below a certain critical value, the water pump will be automatically activated. The water then runs through a hose, which has many tiny holes in it to spread it evenly over the soil. The brain of Flora is this ESP32 microcontroller, which comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support to send and receive data. A huge benefit of the ESP32 is its excellent power saving mode called Deep Sleep, in which the power consumption is as low as 10 microampere. Since the soil moisture doesn't change very rapidly, 
it's usually enough to wake up from that deep sleep mode only once a day. Laura then only needs a few seconds to take some sensor readings, upload the values and turn on the water pump if needed. Alternatively, the microcontroller can also be woken up manually by a simple button press. Since almost the whole day is spent in power saving mode, the LiPo battery will last for many months, depending on your plant and its water needs. It can be recharged with your regular USB phone charger. I am toying with the idea of also integrating solar panels into the housing in the future, so you won't have to recharge the battery at all. The Wi-Fi connection of the ESP32 can be used to remotely control the plant pod, change its settings or set the sensor data to your phone, your home server or websites like ThingSpeak. Personally, I use an app to keep track of the water level, battery level, soil moisture and the pump activity. The data is timestamped, which allows for easy backtracking. If the water level or battery level drops below a critical value, the app will send me a push notification and remind me once a day until I have refilled or recharged the plant pot. The app also comes with a bunch of sliders to change the watering settings and for the initial calibration. Which other features would you like to see? Let me know in the video comments down below. And now for the last point on my list, what are my future plans for Flora? Well, if there are a few people who give this video a thumbs up to show me that they like my idea, I will release at least 5 more videos. The first video will show you how to 3D print the housing, which kind of filament I recommend and most importantly how to get these parts waterproof. By the time I've released this video, I will also have uploaded the STL files to Thingiverse. For those of you who would like to modify the design, I will also upload the STP files. In the second video, I will give you a list with all the other components needed for Flora, where to get them and their cost. After that, there will be a video about the electronics, with a quick explanation of the wiring diagram and a beginner-friendly tutorial of how to solder the electronic components to the board. Don't worry, it's easier than you think. In video number 4, we will finally assemble the whole plant pot with all the 3D printed parts, hoses, electronics and the other components. Additionally, we will seal the joints of these parts to make everything waterproof. And the last video will be about software. I will upload my Arduino code to GitHub explain to you how it works and show you how to upload it to the microcontroller. I will also show you how to set up the Blink app to get the functionality I showed you earlier in this video. Flora is already working pretty well, but I will do a little bit more fine-tuning before putting all these things online. Anyways, I'll try to upload a new video every few weeks, so make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the alarm bell to not miss the release. That's it for today. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.